You know, when we buy property overseas, hopefully the developer will be around for many, many years. And, and like we talked about in the uh, other question, you know, it is like getting married to the developer when you buy a piece of property. So we do hope they're around. Um, and, and one of the things that lets somebody be around over the long haul is financial viability. And so that's something that we need to look at when we're buying a piece of property overseas. How strong financially is the developer? Uh, do they have uh, a track record? My goodness, I mean, goodness, I mean, the, like, I experience in the business is so important. And one of the things we see in this part of the world are what I call hobbyist developers. They come down because they love to dive here in Belize, or they like to surf in Nicaragua or Costa Rica, or, or they just want to move to, to Panama to enjoy a nice retirement. But they're probably not the kind of people that could kick up and put their feet up and lay in a hammock all day. So they buy a piece of property and they start developing. That's fine, understand what it is. Uh, experience, how long have they been around? Have they done this before? So important, you don't want to be the experiment that they try everything out, out on. Or maybe you do want to be the experiment, I don't know, that's up to you. Just know what it is going in up front. But the financial viability of a company is so important. And you know, th this, is, this is hard for us as North Americans to, to really ask. But for example, if you go and a developer's telling you about the golf course they're gonna build, we're gonna build a golf course, or we're gonna build something, you have the right to say, hey, Mr. Developer, print out last month's bank statement, and let's say it's a golf course, and a golf course costs, you know, four or five million bucks to build 18 holes, you know, at the low end, right? So you say, ah, just show me December's bank statement. And if you see four or five million bucks on the bank statement, great. He's got the money to build a golf course. If he's got a few hundred thousand dollars, you have the right to ask the developer, well, how are you going to build a golf course with $200,000? See, gonna is the easiest word in the developer or salesperson's lexicon, okay? It's thrown around a lot in this part of the world because, again, there are no bonding agencies to enforce what's being advertised, no truth in advertising laws. And so, you, the consumer, have to ask the tough question, which I like is the old uh, you know, Tom Cruise thing, uh, show me the money, show me the money. Hey, bank account last month, is it there, is it not there? Uh, you know, one way that a lot of developers do business in this part of the world is they use pre-sales to finance uh, the, 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 the construction of infrastructure or, or amenities. And, and that's really dangerous. In a good market when things are cycling up, yeah, they sell a few lots, they build some streets, now the excitement of having the streets in, they sell a few more lots, and now they can put in the electric and a few more lots, and they can do this, and it's crescendoing up, and it's really great. But when the market starts to spiral the other way, then all of a sudden you've sold some lots uh, as a developer and all of a sudden the, the, st the sales stop, you have no money to do the next thing you said you were going to do. So pre-sales funding is a popular way of funding development in this part of the world. I'm not sure it's the best way. I mean, either the developer has their own money, they've got you know, wealth of some kind to bring to the table to do this infrastructure outlay, to build the clubhouse, build the pools, whatever it is, or the developer uh, has the ability to raise money in an equity capital fashion. That's what our company's chosen to do. We've set up our company to be much like a North American company. We, we have shareholders, we raise equity, we, uh, we take that equity, and we actually do what we say we're going to do with it. And we have done what we said we were going to do for the last 16 years. And that's really the second part of the question, going to track record. How long has the company been around? Have they done what they said they were going to do? Can you go back and look at the documentation from 15 or 16 years ago. Look at the very first flyers that they published. Maybe it's three years ago or five years ago. Hey, let me see that very first flyer you put out. What would you say you were going to do? Here you are five years later. How much of these things can you say, yep, yep, yep? So important. Track record. Have they done what they said they were going to do? Do they have the ability to do what they say they're going to do? And that usually involves money. Ask the question. Be like Tom Cruise. Show me the money. Show me the money. Something else that's important for many, many folks coming south of the border is some type of financing. And it's generally not available in this part of the world. The banks in Latin America don't like to lend to North Americans, and certainly banks in the U.S. don't like to lend on collateral in Belize or Costa Rica or Panama. And so there's a hole in the market. And so what tends to happen is uh, buyers have to come and be able to write the check, so to speak, or wire the funds for 100% of the purchase price. The uh, the, the real issue is, is if you don't have that, then you have to go to the developer and try to negotiate some kind of, well, what if I put, you know, 50% down or those kinds of things, and that's fine when you can do it. 
Uh, financing is so important. You know, we work with Key Bank in Belize, and Key Bank has agreed to finance uh, our customers up to 50%. And we then have the choice to work with a client like yourselves and hold a second position of 20 or 30%. So we can actually go to the marketplace, help you, and say, hey, look, if you're coming down and you've got 20 or 30% down, say, on a $200,000 condo, um, you know, the bank and our company, because we are financially strong, can carry the rest of that balance over uh, a term of 10, 15, even 20 years. So financing is important. Uh, so ask about it. And if it's available, fantastic. If it's not, uh, you know, remember KeyBank and, and, uh, you know, and ECI, because we certainly can make that available for you.